If you ever play this game, uh, you most likely, most definitely ran into one of these funky looking pots. Uh, this is a clay dune strider, uh, aka uh, pot daddy. Today, where you're playing as the clay dune strider, and today we're going for a purely attack speed build. Not completely purely, we do need some healing items and some defensive items because, let's face it, this game is pretty difficult. We are playing on monsoon today uh, compared to our normal, so it's going to be a little bit difficult, but it's going to be doable, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and start with two attack speed, our two soldier syringes. First, let me give you the rundown of all the abilities in case you have never seen one of these before. Is M1 or his mouse one attack is going to be kind of a charge up attack and shoots a bunch of flaming balls of i don't know fire uh oil his m2 is going to be this kind of pooping attack where he stands up really nice and tall and takes a big fat diary on anyone around and those uh big balls that he poops out there are tracking so they will track the enemies uh his e move uh is called well i call it the big suck and actually it doesn't do a ton of damage you can see the wisp is surviving we're going to grab a leeching seed, and that's basically just going to power up our damage while we're inside of that mode. Uh, we're also going to just grab a disposable missile launcher. You can see we're going to use this for our air defense because we can't really do much against people in the air. We're going to have one med kit, and we're also going to grab uh, some bandoliers. You'll see how the build is going to kind of progress in here in a second. We're basically going to have a couple main components. We're going to have med kits for our healing, and then we will have our soldier syringes for our damage. And our AoE is not going to be great today, I'll be honest, but you can see here the build is actually complete just about okay let's walk through this together the bandolier is our first item here it has 18 percent chance plus 10 percent to basically drop an item that resets all of our cooldowns this is going to be very useful eventually because i want to be able to have just a constant spray of the oil nuts uh, the next item here is going to be the predatory instincts uh, critical strikes increase our attack speed by 12 percent with a maximum cap of 36 which will increase the more we have so this one is obviously just increase our attack speed off the bat already have a 45% uh, upgrade and then our mechas are here to heal us. Now we were missing one important ingredient to this to make sure this all works and we need a gray item and I will definitely show you what that is. Perfect. So there's a gray item for us and it's going to be crit goggles uh, because that will proc this which will give us more attack speed which we can already max out at 84% more attack speed. Because, uh, yes, we definitely need more attack speed. We're going to go to activate the teleporter and get this thing moving. We don't want to be here for too long. Uh, we did get a stone titan. That's kind of mid, I'll be honest. We usually get the beetle queen. The damage isn't great on this guy, admittedly. I think it'll be better the more projectiles we're flying out in the air. We're not nice. We actually did get a gold item today. And 100% crit chance. Now, uh, obviously, we're going to go for the milled urn. We're going to make our way back to the teleporter, which I'm hoping is on top of this hill. It is. And then we'll go ahead and keep this run going. Now right now, our attack speed isn't super high. You can hear here, if you listen to the tone of this. It is faster than what it normally is, but it's not a whole, whole, whole lot faster. And as you can see, we're almost able to constantly shoot it. We're getting closer, and the more bandoliers we get, the higher of a chance that will happen will be. Another gold item is actually really good for us. We could go for another one of these, and it'll make it so we can tether two enemies instead of one. That's kind of what we're supposed to be doing, right? We're supposed to be sucking in items and people constantly. Okay, perfect. And now is time to talk about our biggest counters. Now, there's two things that can really destroy our build. Our first big hurdle we have to jump over is going to be bleed, um, which is really bad because imps spawn on this map all the freaking time. And if we were to get an imp overlord, it's going to be a pretty bad day because the bleed that they do is just kind of insane. So basically what we're going to have to do is make sure to be very, very careful when we use our big suck because it will 100% directly affect how much health we have. And we just got another red. That's absolutely crazy. Pocket IC beam would be really good, but I'm thinking burning behemoth, make all of our attacks explode uh, and do some bonus damage. I think that's the I think that's the move. We're going to go burn behemoth, do some big boy explosions. You can see the damage upgrade right there. Nice. Very good. All right, wonderful. We made a stage four. Abyssal Depths is cool. Uh, sadly enough, we can't get the legendary chest. Uh, we will not fit in there. I have tried it. Uh, this guy is just a tiny bit too too tall to get in there. Stone Titan, wonderful. Uh, let's see. There's a void field. I'm not worried about it though. No grandparents in the map. If a grandparent does spawn, we are in a bit of trouble. As long as we kill it pretty fast, we should be pretty okay. Go ahead and start this puppy, and hopefully cross our fingers, and uh, it won't be a grandparent. Okay, it's very good. What needs to happen now is we need to run up here and kill a few things, and it needs to give us pretty fast actually. It needs to give us a eccentric vase. And by getting that eccentric vase, we will then be able to skip the pillars. Yes. Nice. We can skip pillars. Okay. Wonderful. Woo. 
Okay. Time to rock and roll, baby. Nice. I did get it right a little bit. All right. Time to go. We got this now. I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, Mythrix, you're so much tinier than me. That's so weird. Look how small he is compared to this Dune Strider. See, he always does that. All right. Here's what we're going to do. So our missile launchers can proc our uh, boost of attack. So what we're going to do is shoot all these out. And you can just see how much faster we shot there. Uh, considering the fact we have 12 stacks on them. Okay, we're doing okay. He's not actually too difficult to dodge. Okay. We're able to shoot pretty fast. Missile barrage inbound. Oh my gosh. Big poops. Missing again. It's okay. Missing again. It's okay. I'm mid. I know. Run away. Jump away. Jump away, Mr. Clay Dude Shredder. Mr. Clay Daddy. And he's back down on the ground. Here we go. He's actually no scope. Why did it shoot? Okay. And now. <laughs> They're hard to control, okay? All right. We got this 100%. We're going to keep riding up here. I did do that on purpose, I swear. It's actually really good. So we can just suck him to the ground. He can't do anything. I'm still waiting for him to call us a vermin. Unless he already did. Just to die. Just nice and nice and easy. Now, it's going to be very difficult whenever we have him on his last phase. Because um, we're going to have to kind of dodge all of his bullets as this big monstrosity. Right, we're going to start saving up our, our utility. Yeah, we have two. We have what's that? Five. I guess is it six? Six? Six eventually. Woo! A little bit risky. I haven't gotten hit by a full hit by that yet, and I like to keep it that way. Okay, we're just gonna keep jumping around, trying our best here. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we got hit a couple of times there. He, he definitely could kill us if he hit us hit us with. <coughs> All the pizza cutters, but I think we're okay. Oh, that was close. Yeah, so we're supposed to have six. These little things are annoying, too. Okay, I'm gonna get back up to my spot. I think it's better up here. Especially because these guys are annoying. Why are you in again? Heal. I did. Sweet. I'll shoot one of these. Hopefully help deal with these guys. I did. Sweet. I think Lori showed up. That was almost really bad. He used it right underneath of us. A little bit of help from the rockets to help get him down. We gotta get him nice and low with the rockets and then we're gonna chill out. And we also use the Big suck as soon as he did that. That would have been really, really bad. Oh, I never hit that. Okay, we're close. It's kind of a long fight. It's like he, he doesn't know how to hit me whenever he's in that mode. Uh, dude, try to get up. Good lord. Dude, if he just used pizza cutter right there, I would have died. I need to not ever use that move again. I have mid place it, Mary Mythrix. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Love of God, man, please. These little balls are annoying. She said, okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, we haven't even gone to the last phase yet, but it feels like I have. All right, we got to heal up now. So watch, we're gonna lose our fuel cells. Oh <gasps> no! Wait, they they changed it. Oh no! We can jump. We can jump over top of all those pretty easily. Okay, we got our attack speed back. Nice. Come through here. You gotta make us back too. Should be the end of the world. 
Let's see what my, my behemoth. And he's getting our attack speed too, which doesn't feel good. My attack speed, buddy. And we're going ham. Those are mine, boy. Come on. Come on. I think it's safe to say one, but I don't know. Let's see. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to be respectful to you, but I guess I'm just going to spit on your body because you are mid. I'm going to actually, I'm going to pretty, pretty go. Oh, he's still there. Poop on his body. Get pooped on. Oh, yes. And just like that, we're done. Before I get to the very end, I just want to take a minute and say thank you. The support on the Mythrix video has been insane. Uh, absolutely insane. I mean, it's a childhood dream of mine to be able to do this. Seeing the results come back to me, I think we're at almost 500 views on that Mythrix video is just insane to me. Um, absolutely insane. So if you guys like this video and you enjoy the content that I'm pushing out, please feel free to let me know. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. And please subscribe. It, it helps me out a ton and lets me know that what I'm doing is working and what I'm doing is important and uh, that you guys enjoy the content. I'm going to have a pinned comment in the description below. Please let me know who you want to see next. Uh, I'll also have a poll going out um, sometime today. Yeah, on that note, if you like the video, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.